Hello, welcome to the tenth session. In the previous two session, we have learned about what is a variable and how to use it with the fields and the fragment. In this session, we will learn about what is directive and its purpose. Variable help us to pass the value in the query, so we do not need to create the query by string concatenation or string interpolation. But what if you want to obtain the field based on the certain condition? In those type of complex query, we can use the directive. Directive allows us to specify the field or a fragment within the query based on the some boolean flag. Usually, we will pass it from the variable, so it makes the some sense. GraphQL has a two default directive: include and skip. As the name suggests, include directive will add the specified field only if the boolean flag is true, and skip will remove that field if it's true. Let's switch to GitHub API Explorer. Here is a query for obtaining the basic data of the current user. We have created this query in the previous session. Now we want to modify this and make this status field dynamic. So we just need to load it only if true pass in the variable. Let's add a variable in the query. Name load status of type boolean. We need to specify the directive beside the field name. So right here, directive start with the at the rest sign. Here you can see that autocomplete show the list of supported directive. Let's use the include directive. Within the parentheses, we need to specify the condition if low status. This status field will be included only when this variable is true. Let's set the variable true. Execute this query. Here we got the status field. Change this variable to the false. Execute it again. Here we do not get the status field. We can use the skip directive in the same way as the include directive. In this query, we do not want to obtain the bio field if the low status flag is true. Means either bio or the status field will be loaded based on the low status flag. Write the at the rate skip. If low status, change this variable to the true. Execute again. Here we got the status. But not get the bio as per the our expectations. Change this variable to the false. Execute this query. Here we got the bio and does not get the status. Let's see what we are learning this session. Directive are used to change the structure of the query. We can use the directive either on the field or the fragment. There are two type of directives. Include and skip. The syntax for using the directive is right beside the field or the fragment name. At the right sign, directive name within the address is specify the variable name with the if keyword. Here is a query that we have created in this session. I have just used it on the field, but you can also use it on the fragment in the same way. Thanks for watching.